It is the only bridge between machine and earth, a thin layer of rubber holding everything in balance. Often called the soul of movement, the tire is a vehicle's sole point of contact with the road. Each year, global production reaches an astonishing 2.5 billion units, a figure more than seven times the entire population of the United States. The journey begins with milky white latex dripping from trees in tropical plantations and ends with the unyielding grip that anchors a Formula One car through a high-speed turn. Every tire is a composite of dozens of layers, each one meticulously bonded to endure immense heat, pressure, and friction over hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Whether powering a 600-horsepower supercar or a humble family sedan, all that engineering is meaningless without a capable set of tires. This thin band of rubber dictates everything, how sharply a car can turn, how quickly it can brake, and how stable it feels on a sweeping curve or a rain-slicked road. Behind this deceptively simple object lies a colossal global industry operating across more than 180 countries. Thousands of factories work around the clock, feeding a constant demand from nearly 1.5 billion vehicles on the world's roads. This industrial engine, valued at an estimated $320 billion, drives a relentless need for natural rubber, high-strength steel, and a growing stream of recycled materials. On the extreme stage of Formula One racing, a single set of tires may last just 50 to 100 kilometers, sometimes barely surviving a single lap before being swapped. Here, a good tire is the fine line between victory and a catastrophic crash, between a perfect launch and a dangerous skid. And beyond the racetrack, the story doesn't end when the journey is over. Old tires find new life, transformed into playgrounds, furniture, and sound-dampening materials proving their utility long after the final mile. Before a single ounce of rubber is mixed, the tire already exists as a ghost in the machine. Here, in this digital realm, engineers carefully develop its design, calculating the cross-sectional shape, internal ply structure, and the precise composition of the rubber itself. They must achieve an ideal balance between tenacious grip, long-term durability, load-bearing capacity, and the subtle reduction of road noise. The demands of a high-performance sports car are worlds apart from those of a heavy-duty truck or an everyday passenger vehicle. So each tire requires a completely unique blueprint. Every detail is then subjected to rigorous digital simulation, a virtual trial that validates the design long before the physical manufacturing stage ever begins. It begins not in a factory, but with the quiet pulse of a living tree. Long before rubber meets the road, its story starts with a single drop of milky sap. This delicate fluid, seemingly fragile, holds the secret to one of humanity's most durable and resilient creations. Deep within tropical plantations, a careful hand guides a sharp blade, scoring the bark of a rubber tree with practiced precision. The cut must be exact, penetrating just far enough to tap into the latex channels without scarring the living wood beneath. A mistake of millimeters could prove fatal silencing the tree's flow and ending its life in mere weeks. Slowly, drop by patient drop, the white liquid weeps into collection cups. Once gathered, the raw latex is treated with ammonia to prevent it from solidifying, then journeyed to processing facilities where it is concentrated, pressed into thin sheets, and carefully dried. Yet this natural material alone cannot withstand the brutal demands of the modern road. To achieve the required levels of durability and resistance to abrasion, it must be combined with a synthetic counterpart, a marvel of petrochemical engineering. Unlike its organic cousin, synthetic rubber is born not from a tree, but within a laboratory through a process called polymerization. This chemical reaction forges powerful bonds between small molecules like butadiene, styrene, or isoprene, all derived from oil and natural gas. The outcome is an incredibly flexible and durable polymer engineered to maintain its integrity across a vast range of extreme conditions. With its superior strength, cold resistance, and remarkable wear performance, this synthetic material now constitutes over 60% of a modern tire's composition, ensuring it can perform reliably over tens of thousands of kilometers. It travels for tens of thousands of kilometers, yet its true color is a secret hidden in plain sight.
Most people would never guess that the deep, familiar black of a tire is entirely artificial. In its raw, natural state, rubber is actually a pale, off-white substance. To forge a material capable of withstanding the road, manufacturers create a precise blend of ingredients. This complex recipe includes natural rubber, synthetic rubber, carbon black, softening oils, sulfur, and a host of other specialized additives. During the mixing stage, more than 30 different components are meticulously measured and then combined. The addition of carbon black is what grants the tire its signature durability and resistance to abrasion, while softening oils ensure the rubber stays flexible and elastic across a wide range of temperatures. Other additives work to fine-tune the rubber's physical characteristics, dialing in everything from its melting point and curing time to its final, specified hardness. Once measured, these ingredients are fed into a colossal industrial mixer, which operates under intense heat and pressure. In just a few minutes, the entire batch transforms into a thick, jet-black rubber compound. But this is more than a simple mixture. The additives have initiated a reaction at the molecular level, reinforcing the rubber's internal structure and making it immensely stronger. This newly formed compound is then pressed into thick sheets, which are rolled up and transferred to a cooling section. While it bears no resemblance to a finished tire, the essential traits of durability, elasticity, and stress resistance are already being woven into every layer. The process of constructing the tire's core components begins with these same thick sheets of black rubber, now carefully treated for uniformity and mechanical strength. First, the material is guided through a series of rollers, flattening it into thin, even layers that are then precisely wound into spools. Sophisticated technical systems work behind the scenes, ensuring no air bubbles or folds are trapped within the layers, as any imperfection could compromise the final structure. In the next stage, a sheet of high-strength synthetic fabric receives a coating of molten rubber on both sides. A heated calendaring system applies carefully controlled pressure and temperature, forcing the rubber to bond tightly and evenly with every single reinforcing fiber. Simultaneously, ultra-fine steel wires, each one incredibly thin but immensely strong, are arranged in perfect parallel alignment. These wires are then fused to the rubber under intense pressure, creating the tire's fundamental structural frame. This internal reinforcement is what allows the tire to maintain its shape and perform with unwavering reliability, even at high speeds. This entire sequence is governed by advanced technology, where every detail is constantly monitored and adjusted. The outcome is a product engineered not just for durability, but for absolute safety and consistent performance across an enormous range of driving conditions. A symphony of materials, once separate, now converges. Here, chaos is forged into order, one layer at a time. With the airtight rubber, reinforcement fabrics, and steel belts ready, the shaping process begins. These elements are brought together upon a large rotating metal drum where an automated assembly system springs to life. Robotic arms move in perfect synchronization, following pre-programmed instructions to execute each task with extreme precision. A centralized digital system tightly controls every parameter from the rolling pressure and rotation speed to the pressing time. With the capacity to assemble dozens of tires per hour, the entire setup must maintain tolerances within 0.1 millimeters, a near-perfect standard in rubber manufacturing. Each rubber layer is applied to the drum by a servo-driven system, pressed tightly and aligned flawlessly with the previous layers. To prevent any overlap, wrinkling, or misalignment, force sensors work in tandem with industrial cameras, monitoring every millimeter of the surface. This stream of image and pressure data is processed in real time, allowing the system to instantly adjust rotation, force, and wrapping speed at each contact point. As soon as the raw structure is built, the next phase begins, inflating the tire body with compressed air. The internal pressure causes the soft rubber shell to expand, conforming precisely to its intended shape. This marks its first transformation from a collection of separate materials into a unified cohesive form. Pressure sensors and shape scanners monitor every subtle change, and if any deformation is detected, the system halts immediately for correction. In just a few seconds, the basic shape of the tire is complete, a raw but promising structure 
ready for the next stage of its transformation into a final product built for strength, precision, and endurance. Here, raw potential is about to be locked into permanent form. The final shape of endurance is forged not by immense force, but by a symphony of heat and pressure. On smaller production lines, the tread, that critical patterned surface meeting the road, is sometimes applied as a separate layer. A cold pressing technique is employed where a flat press machine applies immense force, bonding the tread strip securely to the raw tire body before it ever feels the heat. But in larger, more sophisticated facilities, a different method prevails. The tread is molded directly into the tire during vulcanization, an approach that offers superior precision and greater economy of scale. The entire tire assembly is carefully positioned within a massive two-part metal mold, which clamps shut like a colossal waffle iron. Etched into the mold's interior are the intricate, reversed patterns that will become the tire's unique tread design. As the cycle commences, the mold is heated to temperatures between 160 and 180 degrees. Simultaneously, a flexible bladder inside the tire inflates with compressed air or superheated fluid, generating immense internal pressure. Driven by this outward force, the now softened rubber expands, flowing into every minute groove and detail of the mold. This is the moment the tread's final, intricate shape is born. This crucial vulcanization process takes anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, its duration dictated by the tire's specific size and intended use. Within this superheated chamber, a profound chemical reaction unfolds as sulfur atoms forge connections between the long polymer chains of the rubber. These new molecular bonds reinforce the entire structure, transforming the once pliable material into a resilient, elastic form. It is this very stage that ultimately defines the tire's mechanical strength, its resistance to heat, its grip on the road, and its total lifespan. Warm from the mold, a perfect form takes shape, but perfection is more than what the eye can see. Still radiating heat from the curing process, the tire is whisked away to the inspection area. Here, a gauntlet of unforgiving tests will determine if it is truly worthy of the road. While it may appear complete in every detail, its journey is not considered finished until it clears this final, critical evaluation. The process commences with a meticulous geometric analysis. A network of industrial lasers bathes the entire surface in light, measuring its roundness, center alignment, and thickness with microscopic precision. Even the most minuscule deviation is enough to mean immediate rejection. From there, the tire is secured to a rotating spindle and subjected to immense force. It is inflated with compressed air to a pressure well beyond its normal operating limits, a brutal test of its structural integrity and ability to retain air. Any sign of a leak or subtle deformation under the strain is instantly detected and flagged for failure. In the most advanced facilities, the inspection turns inward, using powerful X-rays to peer deep into the tire's unseen core. This penetrating vision reveals what the naked eye cannot. Misaligned layers, hidden separations, and microscopic flaws in the bonding, all detected with exacting precision. Only those specimens that emerge unscathed from every trial earn the coveted stamp of approval. They are then moved into storage, finally prepared for a world of speed, weight, and pressure. A world that demands nothing less than perfection. They are engineered for motion, yet their final destination is often a state of permanent stillness. Each year, after completing journeys that span hundreds of thousands of kilometers, billions of tires are discarded. They accumulate in vast landfills or are left to scar the natural landscape, where, unlike biodegradable materials, they are almost immune to the passage of time. Their resilience comes from a complex mixture of synthetic rubber, mineral oils, and heavy metals, durable compounds that present a lasting threat to soil, water, and air. If set ablaze outside of controlled facilities, they unleash a cloud of toxic gases like dioxins and benzene. Even left to the elements, wind and rain slowly erode them, carrying a silent stream of microplastics into our waterways, which then infiltrate ecosystems and climb the food chain. In response to this growing challenge, nations are pioneering advanced recycling technologies, transforming old tires into the building blocks for new ones. The journey begins with a mechanical grinding process where discarded tires are systematically shredded into a fine, granular rubber. 
These granules are then subjected to a careful application of heat, pressure, and chemical additives, a treatment designed to partially rejuvenate their original properties. This reborn rubber finds its new purpose within the inner layers of a tire, forming components like the liner or cushion that are shielded from direct road contact. While this recycled content makes up only 10 to 20% of a new tire's total mass, its impact is profound. It marks a vital move away from petrochemical dependency, reduces the volume of waste, and slowly transforms an environmental liability into a sustainable, circular resource. It is a circle of black rubber, unremarkable at a glance. Yet within its form lies a universe of engineering, precise to the final detail. Beneath this unassuming surface, a symphony of advanced materials and meticulous design comes to life. Though it is just one component among thousands, it carries an immense responsibility as the sole interface between a machine weighing several tons and the road itself. This is the place where raw power translates into controlled motion. It is here, at this single point of contact, that the promise of performance is born and the foundation of safety is ultimately secured.